For people who are not math majors, you don't understand just how insanely difficult higher level mathematics is. As much as I'm flattered, I think it's better to demystify mathematics and the math major. Uh, let's first see what he's talking about. This is the definition of a limit of a sequence. For all epsilon greater than zero. Be able to recite these definitions on the fly in an interview like this. You don't understand. I don't think you have to be super intelligent to be a math major. You just need to have uh, two things. You need to like mathematics so that you take your time and you enjoy understanding the concepts. And two, you have to be proficient at the language of mathematics. So once you know a, a concept such as the sequence, uh, the limit of a sequence, you can just reproduce the definition every time using that language that you are very good at. For example, for the limit of a sequence, I don't know the definition like word by word, but I know the concept and then I can reproduce the definition every time using the usual language for such a thing. Suppose we have a sequence A1, A2, A3, and we want to say that the sequence, the limit of the sequence is this number L. By definition, the limit will be L if the elements of the sequence get closer and closer and closer to L, and at some point, all of the terms in the sequence are really close to L. So how do we say that mathematically? Well, just write a very small neighborhood of L. So uh, pick epsilon here is a tiny number, and then there is just a little interval around L. If the limit is L, then every element of the sequence at some point has to land in this tiny interval. So there's gotta be some element in the sequence, let's call it AN with capital N here, that after that element, every element in the sequence is in that tiny interval. So what we are saying is that for any tiny interval, there is some capital N such that at some point, all the elements of the sequence land in that interval. So let's put it all together. For every epsilon, for every radius around L of a little interval around L, there is some capital N such that if the elements of the sequence are above that capital N, then every one of those elements is the distance to L is less than epsilon. So it is within that little interval. So for all epsilon bigger than zero, there is an N capital N bigger or equal to one, such that if little n is bigger or equal to n, then the absolute value of an minus l is less than epsilon, which is the definition of the sequence an has limit l. Now, it is true that to reset the definition just like that, on the fly, on the street, on an interview, on camera, it takes some uh, open neighborhoods, if you know what I mean.